Peace be with you all. My name is Ahmed Phillips, and today I'm going to show you how I do shading in Flash CS6. Uh, so first I pick a black color. I lower the opacity. Uh, it doesn't really matter how much, it's just whatever you feel comfortable with. And then I start blocking in the shadows. I start off with the nose because for this uh, project, uh, all the characters have shading under the nose. And I think in general, people have shading under the nose regardless of the light source, except if it's really, really strong and from underneath. So it's almost a given that you'll have shading under the nose in most situations. Um, and then now I'm doing the hands and the arms. Um, typically, uh, typically I uh, do shading in the, you know, in the sleeves as well. Um, and for this one, there isn't a real light source. Uh, if there had to be one, I would say it's overhead. Um, but there isn't really one. And maybe um, the light source is also coming from the camera. Uh, it's, the shading here is just, I mean, you should keep it consistent so it doesn't feel like it's coming from different directions. Uh, I mean, I'm not an expert at it or anything, though, so maybe I make some mistakes here and there. Um, but the point is just to give dimensionality to the character um, and adds quality as well. Uh, so some of the positive things about shading and why I like shading is that, like I said, it adds quality. You know, I mean, you can have a really nice animation and it might not have um, any shading. And some of the best animation I've seen does that. Like if you guys remember the Naruto fights, um, I think Naruto vs Sasuke fight in the first, um, not season, but, you know, before Shippuden, um, that was a really nice fight, and the whole thing, I think in the whole thing, it hardly had any shading, maybe just very little under the neck and stuff, but basically it didn't have any shading, and that freed up the animator to really go all out and not worry about, you know, little details like shading, but, um, but that's uh, like an exception. Uh, I would say in general, you want to have shading because it adds, uh, like I said, dimensionality to the character. But if your lines are really good, then uh, you might not need it. But I like it. So that's why I do it sometimes. But it does it does take a lot a long time. So that is a negative. It takes it just adds time and animation already takes so so much time anyways. So like the last thing you want to do is do something that will just add additional time and might not be necessary. Um, but for this project, I really wanted to really have as much quality as possible as I could do, um, given the time frame. So another nice thing about uh, shading is that it adds, um, it adds information they don't have to use the lines for, you know, like um, like folds in the clothing. You can get away with not drawing those lines, those uh, details as lines. Instead, you can just have it as shading, and it and you just ha add a little bit, and it really, you know, just a little information really tells a lot. Um, so it's you know it's good to do, and uh, one final reason why. I think shading is a nice thing to have in any animation is that um, me personally I really enjoy the process um, you I don't have to think as much and I think I'm thinking a little bit but I don't have to think as much as like when I'm coming up with the sketches or when I'm now uh, constructing the character based on the based on the um, stick figure you know I mean all these parts are fun, but it, it kind of numbs the brain, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, for me, it's just, uh, I'm like thinking too much, whereas with shading, I don't really have to think that much, and it's kind of, it's relatively quick compared to, you know, animating and constructing the character, and um, so it's a nice process for me, I think. Okay, so here, now on the ink layer, the layer with the, with the clean lines, I'm using the pencil tool and the color blue to 
uh, block in the the shaded areas. Um, so with flash, you can the pencil line can inter uh, intersect the ink, you know the the brush lines, and it creates like a closed area, closed off area, where you then can use the paint buckets um, tool to just you know drop in your color that you want. And here in the hands, you can see I, I'm using the brush, right? But it's going under the lines, and that's because I have it um, this brush setting as uh, underneath, you know, go, so that it goes underneath the the lines, whether or not it's pencil lines or brush lines. Uh, so that makes it, you know, that makes it easier to uh, shade, and all these things are are easier to color. All these things are being done on one layer. Um, you know, all the, the color and the shading and the ink, it's all on one layer. I used to use separate layers before, but it just, for me, it just makes the process longer and it's kind of weird with flash. I don't know, I haven't really been able to find a good way to do it. Maybe someone else has a good way and if they want to suggest it to me, that's great. I would, you know, I'd love to see it. Um, but for me, I found that it's just easier just to have it all in one layer. So I do that thing with the pencil line for all the all the frames. Um, and then afterwards, I come in with the paint bucket tool and I just, you know, drop in the color I want. And then for areas that I didn't do with the pencil line, using the brush tool on um, paint underneath, I, uh, you know, I just close off the area and I use the paint bucket tool or I just, you know, color it in with the paintbrush. Um, yeah, so what you're seeing now is just, uh, what I'm doing on every, on every drawing now. And, uh, it takes time, um, and maybe it's not fun or not that much fun, this part, but, um, you know, it's necessary and, but it's still a lot more fun than doing the inking. For me, the inking is like the worst. I hate doing the inking, making the lines really clean. And perhaps I won't do that in the future because it just takes it just takes a really long time, um, and I'd rather not waste my time doing doing that. Maybe it's better to have a sketchy style that people can like and accept, rather than making sure that everything is so clean and perfect because it just adds time to it. So the reason why I use the pencil line or pencil tool to block in the shapes to then add the paint bucket to um, paint bucket too is that uh, so that the lines or rather sorry so that the the color doesn't come out of the character you know if I use the brush tool to do that to block in the shapes probably some you know the my uh, brush would go out of the line of the character a little bit and then you know that just becomes problematic I would have to clean it up so with the pencil tool, even though it comes out of it, it's fine because I'm going to erase the pencil. So long as the color doesn't come out of the lines, that's that's what's important. So we're at the end of the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.